Hi everybody, today we're going to show you how to set up the uh, Cutter Master Professional to grind radiuses. To grind a radius you really have to locate the wheel and all the pivot points and the tool, all those things have to register at their certain point in space and you have to find those points. To begin with, you got to find the, the height. And so you're using your center finder, you, you, you put this pin in which is 3 8 it's been machined off half of the way and you bring it over and then you bring this column up, this drops into the hole you bring this column up, the center finder column up to touch and then you tighten the set screw now you've located the tangent point of the center of the wheel and the uh, and you can use that to locate um, uh, sorry the center of the tool you can use that to locate your wheel height so then we bring this back out of the way and then we uh, We'll turn it at 90 degrees so there's a 90 degree face um, facing the wheel for one setting and then from the to set the carriage this way we have to locate also and so you turn it so the other 90 degree face. So we'll bring this in and then you move your carriage until you get this just so it's just touching and you want to be right about the center of the wheel at the peak of the arc and then that's your setting and then you set your dial indicator to zero and you never want to move that carriage again from, from, the, from a grinding perspective once that's set you don't, you don't do anything with it so now we're going to back this away now we're going to find the, uh, the y-axis center so we're going to rotate this now so I'm bringing a flat to bear against the wheel and I'm going to bring the wheel in until it it too touches in this axis and now I've located at the center of the tool the y-axis and the x-axis so then I will set this dial indicator <clears throat> and now I've got if I'm grinding a ball nose now now I've got center now I have to set the upper carriage so I'm gonna back this away a hundred thou if I keep track of things, and now I've got, I'm going to rotate this this way, and now I've got to bring this carriage in. So, with the upper carriage, I loosen it up, and then I'll bring this tool over, and then I'll back it in until the flat corresponds with the pin. And now I've located my upper carriage. So if I was grinding a ball nose, that's where I'd be. Um, so now, at, at the moment, <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to lock this carriage. Anyway, that's your setup. So now we've found the center of the x-axis, the y-axis, the wheels at a good height, and we know, we know where the tool is from this height. So once we're done with this pin, we can just take it out. And now I'm going to come back to my zero this way. Once again, on a Cuttermaster Pro, clockwise is always speeding. And so now I'm good to set my end up.